Hello. Hello, Guadalupe. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for the beautiful message you sent me. Thank you very much. I was in okay. class, but I checked in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. It was very beautiful. I really, really appreciate those things. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. How was your day? Fine. It was fine? I was, I was working. Okay, yeah. So that's it's good because we have the chance to work. <laughs> it's important to have the chance to work. So... Yeah. There are many people who are looking for a job. Yes. Hello, Isela. How are you? Hello, Lore. Welcome. Hello, teacher. It was so, your day was so, so. Why? Porque esto yeah. más o menos. Uh, it's heavy to work. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Welcome, Sandrita. How are you? Thank you. Hi, hi. What about the rain? What about the rain in your houses? ¿Qué tal de lluvias por ahí por sus casas? Nothing. Fuertísimo. Uh, yeah. Nothing, Isela. No, aquí en San Miguel no. Ah, you live in San Miguel. Oh my God. No, here in San Salvador, we look like a river. <laughs> we were almost <laughs> swimming here. It was horrible. The rain was horrible today. But in, in San Miguel, nothing of rain. Oh my God. Nothing, nothing. In here, it has been raining since 2 p.m. Desde las 2 de la tarde. And it hasn't stopped. Hello, Jorgito. It's a pleasure to see you. Te vi como por medio de segundo. There you go. Hi, hello, Jorge. It's a pleasure to see you. Hello, Mirnita. Welcome. Uh, Lorena. Hello, teacher. Happy Lorena. day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for all your beautiful messages. I, I really, really felt loved. Yeah, me sentí bien querida. I, I felt very ah, nice. Se lo merece, teacher. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I felt very, very happy with your messages and with your details. It was so beautiful. It was a very beautiful day, right? I was working the whole day, but it is like nice because... Yeah, I am a teacher. I mean, okay, I need to work. <laughs> I need to work every day. But it was it was a very beautiful day in the end. With a lot of rain, yes, but it was beautiful. It was a very beautiful day. Well, today we are going to work a little bit on uh, the platform. We are going to check on the platform. Hello, and good hello, afternoon. good evening. How are you? <laughs> hello, hello. Bye. I am glad that you are Happy here. Day. Oh, thank you very much, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. So as I tell you, we are going to work on the platform today. Let me open it. And let me see. Hmm. Okay, give me a second. I am opening everything here. Okay, habían algunos de ustedes que les enviaron un mensaje que todavía les faltaba completar la sección 1. ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de terminarlo? Did you have the chance to finish? Yes? Yes. Okay. The idea is that you can advance as much as possible, okay? It is not only the sections one or two, one week, another week, no. You can advance as much as possible. Really? Todos, ninguno me puede escuchar, o solo Jorgito. Yes. No, no se escucha, teacher. Yes, teacher, fuerte y claro. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Fuerte, sí, yo creo que traía megáfono cuando nací. <laughs> Jorgito, can you, can you listen to yeah. me now? Yes? yes. Okay, good. I have the teacher's voice. Aquí donde me ven, puedo sentar a 40 en solo con un sit down. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have had, no, I think the biggest group that I have had, it's 85 students. Impone respeto. Yeah, all the time. And I am a very tall woman, so it, it, it's mixed, right? I mean, soy, soy una mujer de casi un metro 
75. So, it's like, yes. Entonces, sí, tanto como altura como voz, tengo. I have both. Imponente. Definitely. Yes. So, I can, I can sit a, a complete group only with the voice. So, I was explaining. With the platform, advance as much as possible. Okay, not only sections one or two. If you want to finish the platform on the weekend, do it. Si en una sentada se van y hacen 20 ejercicios, perfect. Okay, it is not necessary que no, hasta la uno dijeron y hasta la uno hago. No, you can do all the exercises that you want. If you get stuck, si te trabas, ask for help. Okay, it is not, it's not a problem, right? As you can see in the group, if you say, can you help me with this? And we are very quick to help. So uh, let's do that, okay? Advance as much as possible on the platform. I am going to share my screen with everybody. And here we go. So here we have section number one, that it's about what are you going to do, right? It's about going to what we have studied. Eso es lo que hemos estado estudiando. And here we go. Todos los que tienen el lapicito son ejercicios evaluados, as we know perfectly. So let's go with the first ones. The first exercise that you have in the platform, it's about the interview. We did the interview yesterday, okay? Ayer hicimos la entrevista. And this is yeah, about, no. ab about oh. the listening, right? Michelle is going to, what is she going to do according to the interview? Meet a friend. She's going to meet a friend, right? She's going to meet a friend. And Kevin is going to, according to the video, according to the, Going to play to the video game. He's going to play video games. Let's listen to it. Vamos a ver. Lo vamos a escuchar. Here we go. Tal vez este es una opción distinta. Let's see. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going <laughs> home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game. Hey, oh, oh, you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. He's going to play video Can I ask your name? Yes. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, so according to this one, you have, according to the listening, you have Michelle is going to meet a friend. Kevin is going to play video games. Robert is going to work at home and Jane is going to listen, listen to music. Listen to music. Listen to music. So that was exercise number one. Here you have explanation, you have a video for you to check, and here you have another exercise. On this exercise, we have to complete the conversations with the form of going to. Remember, when you use going to, you have going to and the verb, okay? So in this one, it says, my parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Who are you? And you have the verb invite. Who are you going to, going to invite? invite? Who are you going to invite? Necesitamos la forma de going to 
Después de to, el verbo en su manera normal. I am, y tenemos el verbo ask. So you say, I am going, going to ask. Going to ask. I am going to ask. Okay. In the next one, we have do. Going to do. Going to do. What are you going to do? What about the next one? I am no. This is negative. I am not going. I am not, not going to. I am not going to do anything special. Celebrate. Are your parents going to celebrate? Going to celebrate. Are your parents going to, how are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Go to the neighbor's party. Going to go. They are going to go to the neighbor's party. What about the next one? Do. What is your sister going to do? Going to do. Okay, what is your sister going to do for her birthday? What about the next one? Her boyfriend going to take, going to take, to take, take. her out the, time, the dinner. Is going to take. Is going to take her out for uh, to dinner. Her boyfriend is going to take her out to uh, to dinner. What is your sister going to do in this one? The difference is that it didn't have the verb to be right. En las otras les habían dado el verbo to be antes, but in this one you didn't have it. So her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Okay, so. This is something that you need to be very careful about, okay? Cuando escriban las respuestas, asegúrense de escribirlas correctamente, de no comerse ninguna letra, no poner extra espacios porque las puede tomar como incorrectas. So, and the last exercise that we have for uh, this uh, section, it's about the reading okay i was going to do this reading today but i decided to do it better on the platform and here we have about elena we have about uh, yan shin chai taipei we also have mr and mrs aoki and we have about philip jolie we are going to read first about elena buenaventura in madrid okay there you have who can help me to read? Can me ayuda a leer? Okay. Go si ahead. Me, si me escucha, si puedo. Go ahead. Okay. Go, Jorge. Yes. My son is very scared that she's from Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. So we say, we have happy birthday. They're going to pull on my here 21 time. One for each year is the all custom, some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay, very good job. Thank you, Jorge, very good job. Very nice reading. What is the tradition for people in Madrid when they celebrate a birthday? What is the tradition? Mm -hmm. They go to the pool. Okay, they are going to pool what? Pull their their ear. Okay, so they do this. They take the ear and they pull it 21 times. So imagine you and they take your ear and they pull it. As many years as you are celebrating. Por cada... Yes, one time per each year. Imagine, my God, this year I am going to celebrate 39. It will be 39 times of pulling the ear. Oh my God, no, right? Imagine when you celebrate 60. Ah, my ear. <laughs> it will be like, <laughs> sin oreja. That will be so terrible. So they are very traditional. So to wish me a happy birthday, they are going to pull on my ear 21 times. Once per each year, right? 
Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional, she says. That it's in, where is she living right now? Donde vive ella? Where is she living? Actually. Where is she living? Donde vive? Buenaventura, Madrid. In Madrid. She lives in Madrid. She lives in Madrid, right? She lives in Madrid. What is her last name? Her last name is ben Buenaventura. Okay. How old is she going to be? 21 years old. 21 years old, right? She's going to be 21 years old. Okay. Are her friends normal? Very traditional. They are very traditional, right? They are very traditional. So... To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull on her ear 21 times. Yes or no? It's true. It's true, right? Let's go with Yan Xin Shai, Taipei. Okay. Analyze the reading and tell me if there are new words or new vocabulary. Hay palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo? Noodles, noodles. You see it, you noodles, noodles, fideos. Oh. Okay. Noodles are fideos. Okay, uh -huh. any other one? Yeah, I think sorry. Which one? Okay. Tomorrow is my... 16 birthday. It's a ah. special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money and look in the elephant from my relative. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay, noodles are for a long life. Do you know what's the meaning of envelopes? See, what is the meaning? Envelopes are sobres. Mm, thank you. Sobres. So you say, Yang Xin Shai, Taipei. It says, tomorrow it's my 16th birthday. It is a special birthday, so we are going to have a family ceremony. I am probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay, lucky envelopes. Would you like to receive lucky envelopes? Le gustaría yeah. recibir lucky envelopes? <laughs> I would love to receive these lucky envelopes. And they are called lucky envelopes because you don't know how much money do they have. Tienen de sorpresa las cantidades de dinero. You never know, right? <laughs> well, but lucky, lucky envelopes. I don't have it. That's good, right? Era uno que no tenían. <laughs> How old is she going to be? How old is Jan Xin Shai going to be? 16, 16 years old. 16 years old, right? Where does she live? Where does she live? ¿Dónde vive? Where does she live? She lives in Taipei. She lives in Taipei, right? What is she going to eat? She's going to eat noodles. She's going to eat noodles. What is the meaning of noodles? Fideos. Fideos. I don't know. What is the meaning of noodles in Taipei? What is the significance? A long, long life. Long life. It's noodles for a long life. A long life. life. Se imaginan por qué los noodles son para una larga vida. Have you ever eaten noodles? Ya han comido fideos. It is just one thing and it is all twisted and you are like when you never finish and you are like and the noodle continues and continues and continues and continues. That's the meaning, right? Because they are for a long life. Okay, Yang Xin Shai. When is her birthday? When is her birthday? Cuando es? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow. Is she going to have a big party? 
No. No? She's going to have no. family ceremony. A family ceremony. ceremony. A family ceremony. She's going to have a family ceremony. Okay. So what am I doing this? Anytime that you have a reading, you have to analyze everything. Why? What? Where? What is the meaning? Right? I need you to analyze beyond the reading, right? So not just like, ah, ya lo leí, ya estuvo. No, I need you to analyze it. Okay, when is her birthday? How old is she going to be? Is she going to have a big party, a small party? What is the meaning of lucky? What is the meaning of lucky people? Suerte. The suerte, right? Lucky envelopes. Very good. So is she going to cook noodles on her birthday? Oh. Is she going to cook? No, right? Who, who is going to cook? No. Her family. Exactly. Your mom, mother. Your mother. My, my mother. mother. Her mother. Her mother. Mamá. Mamá, ¿por qué le andas cocinando noodles a la Yan Shinsha? ¿Qué? ¿Mamá va a cocinar? Yeah, but it's her mother, right? Her mother is going to cook noodles. Porque si me dicen, your mother, teacher, it's like mi mamá. And it's like mi mamá ya hasta por Santa Ana, right? Hmm. No sé si tendrá otra hija china. <laughs> Tenemos que platicar. ¿sí? So she's not going to cook. Her mother is going to cook. What about Mr. and Mrs. Aoki? Okay. Go ahead. Analyze the reading and look for new vocabulary. Vocabulario nuevo. Ask. If you have questions, let me know. Questions? Teacher, what's the meaning of? No what is what is what Mirna <laughs> uh, beginning it's the beginning it's the beginning of a new life beginning is el inicio thank you any other question? No questions? No hay otra pregunta en vocabulario? Everything is clear as the horchata? Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday, it's called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Do you know the meaning of best? Chaleco, creo yo. Chaleco, right? Best is chaleco. It's the beginning of a new life. Okay, where do they live, people? Wait, where do these people live? In Kyoto. In Kyoto. Where is Kyoto? Japan. Japan. In Japan. How old is Mr. Aoki going to be? 60 years old. 60 years old. What is the meaning of Kanreki? The beginning of a new life. The beginning of a new life. Is it represented with what type of color? 
Fred. Fred. Who is going to give a present to Mr. Aoki? New life. No, who is going to give a present to Mr. Aoki? Children. The, the children, children, right? The children are going to give him a present. And let me see. What is the present going to be? A Some, red hat and something vest. Red. Something red, right? Something red, a red hat, and a vest. Very good job. Excellent. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True. That's or false? true. It's true, right? True. It's true. <laughs> and the last one, Philippe Jolie. Paris. Analyze for new vocabulary, please. New vocabulary. No? Okay, I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. <laughs> what an offer, right? Que ofertón diría mi mamá. In France, you invite people out on your birthday. So if it is my birthday, I say like, hey, people, come. I am going to invite you for dinner. And in other countries, for sure, it's the opposite, right? People invite you to go out. Yeah, ahora me llevaría, quiero ver a cuántos, a 22, a celebrar mi cumpleaños. And I have to pay. <laughs> and it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Me compré un pastel. <laughs> I am going to be 30, right? He says that he's going to be 30 next week. Where does he live? Where does he live? He lives in Paris. He lives in Paris. Where is Paris located? It's in France. France. In France, right? And let's see how many friends is he going to invite three 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 very good friends three very good friends very good job he's going to invite three very good friends philip's friends are going to take him out for dinner on his birthday uh-huh philip's oh. friends no, it's false, right? Because Philippe is going to take them out. out. Philippe es el que lo va a llevar. So that's so sad. He is going to invite his friends out for dinner. So this was the practice for section number one. As you can see here, these are all the exercises that you should complete. Here you have section number two. En la sección dos solo tienen tres ejercicios. Así que ya lo habían terminado también. So, section number three, you have conversations about the parts of the body, right? Conversation is about the parts of the body. I love these listenings. They are very fun. Este es mi listening favorito. Number two. You will see. And here you have about uh, imperatives. Right, and the last one is about the reading, okay? En la lectura pueden hacer lo mismo que hicimos ahora, analizarla primero. You analyze the reading, when you finish and everything, you answer the questions, okay? So you can finish sections one and two and three and four and five, right? In one 
time. It doesn't take that much, right? Como ven, no toma mucho tiempo, pero dedíquenle siempre al menos unos 20 minutos para avanzar tanto como puedan. Okay? I am going to call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista y we're going to continue. Did you investigate about the celebrations? What celebrations do you have for me? We are going to analyze them in a moment, okay? So let me see. Hey, it says here that only a couple of you have finished part number one. Bien poquitos habían terminado la sección uno. Así que porfa, espero que ya todos estén al día. Let's see. Okay. Ana Isela. Yes, teacher. Present. Present. Thank you. Ana Ruth. Present. Brian Francisco. Present, teacher. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Okay, Carlito. Cintia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Here. David Rafael. Present. Diana Beatriz. Present. Diego Rodrigo. <laughs> Diego Rodrigo. Dieguito. Ok, Eric Javier. Present teacher. Thank you. Fatima Ivin. Present teacher. Jorge Francisco. Present teacher. Josué Abel. I saw him there. Present teacher. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Jamile. Catherine. Catherine Yamilet. No está mi Catherine. Ok. Laura Lisset. Present teacher. Lorena Araceli. Present teacher. Mirna Yasmin. Present teacher. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina Yael. Reinita. Tuvo una emergencia, me escribió, teacher. Ok. Eh, Sandra Beatriz. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Present. Tatiana Vigail. Present. Adriana Burgos. Present. Wendy Lisette. Wendita. Present. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for answering. Okay, my dear students, did you investigate celebrations as I asked you yesterday? What new celebrations do you have for me? Can you send them on the chat, please? Can you send them on the chat or you can tell me? Okay, Roberto, tell me. Me las pueden ir enviando al chat para mientras. Ajá. Oh, present, he says. <laughs> yeah, Roberto, I, I call you. I call your name. Roberto, Carlos. Ah, Roberto, here you go. Okay. Roberto, thank you. Ya lo puse. Uh -huh. New celebrations. Celebrations. Which ones? Which new celebrations did you find? ¿Qué celebraciones encontraron? New ones. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Huh? Oh, no encontraron ninguna. I have, yeah, I have one. The Lorocos Festival, it's on September 4. I didn't know that one. Well, that's a festival that I want to attend, definitely. Ese es un festival al que sí quiero ir. 
the Loro Coast Festival. And where, where is it celebrated, David? ¿Dónde lo celebran? The annual Bolas de Fuego Festival in Nehapa. It's on August 31st. Wow. Nice. Loroco Festival, September 4, eh, Bola de Fuego, uh, August 31st. The Corn Day in Lolotique, San Miguel. Hey, when is it? ¿Cuándo es, Isela? San Lorenzo. Oh, in February. Okay, San Lorenzo, the Loroco Festival. It's close, huh? Me queda cerca. Let's go. Excellent. Any other celebration? When is the Pupusa Day, people? August 10th is the International Cook Day. Oh, it's the day of the chef, really? Wendita, what is that celebration? Yes, yes. A no. nivel mundial. Oh, wow, <laughs> I didn't know. That's something no you celebran. Me. No, no, that was new for me, definitely. That's something really new for me. Eso sí es nuevo para mí, mire. That's really fantastic. Very good job. Okay. Any other celebration that you know? Any other one? Let's see. Let's see the chat. I have three more. Okay, good. New Year, the Festival of the Pineapple is on June 3rd and 4th in Santa Maria Ostuma. I saw that one in Channel 10 one day. The day of the pupusa is the second Sunday of November. The April 22nd is the Earth Day. Very good. Yeah. The New Year, the Sunflower Festival. Yeah, I have seen this one. He visto el Festival de los Girasoles. And that's very beautiful. So you see, we have many different celebrations in our country that are new, right? And you say like, hey, I didn't know that we used to celebrate this one, right? So here we go. I have here a little conversation, right? About different celebrations, right? Let me see. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, I have another message. 16 December, it's a chorizo festival. I didn't know. I want to go to the chorizo festival. That's very good. What is the celebration on the picture? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine. It's Valentine's Day. Who are the people in the conversation? What are their names? Mona, Mona, Mona and, Tyler. and Tyler. Mona and Tyler. And it says, uh, so Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to send my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna. She's her favorite festival. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. Thank you too. You too, <laughs> right? They are going to celebrate Valentine's Day. Tell me, what are they going to do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer para Valentine's? What are they going to do? What activities are they going to do? I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do for Valentine's? Buy some rose for my guest. Laguna restaurant. They are going to go to Laguna's restaurant, right? They are going to go to Laguna's restaurant. What else? But dance. They are going to, they dance, go to right? dance. They are going to dance, right? Who is going to dance? Tyler or Mona? Mona. Mona, Mona right? She's going to dance. And for sure, she says, have a good Valentine's Day. Questions with WH as we were studying yesterday. Preguntas con WH acerca de going to. You say, what, um, let me see, where are you going to go? That's one, where are you going to go? That's the, one of the first questions. Where are you going to go? The next one, what are you, what going, are you to going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And for sure, if you say, where are you going to go? She answers with the name of a place, right? 
In this case, it says Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance, right? It says, sounds like fun. November 1, Canchu, Canchules Day. What is Canchul? Canchules Day in Nahuizalco, Sonsonate, they say. Que es un canchul, iluminen. I don't know. What is a canchul? Es, es que es una tradición como del compartir de alimentos oh. y, y llegan turistas de todo de todo el salvador de todas partes es un pueblo de Nahuizalco que pertenece a, a Sonsonate uh -huh. how beautiful thank you Juanita entonces se va diciendo como una frase de los canchules y en cada frase que usted diga en cada casa hay este Ponen mesas con frutas, de todas las frutas, tamales, atoles, ajá, entonces es el compartir de, y eso todo eso es regalado, entonces cada vez que usted dice una oración de los canchules, le regalan una fruta. O sea que hay que llevar bolso, hay que llevar bolso grande, sí. Wow. Excelente, thank you, thank you, Juana Margarita, thank you very much. Wow, what a beautiful celebration. I didn't, I didn't imagine that one. So in November 1st, if you have time, let's go to Nahuizalco for the canchules. Hey, that's so good, right? It's a very good tradition. So in the example of the conversation, we have questions with going to the ones that we were studying yesterday. And it says like, what are you going to do for Valentine's? Information questions, right? I am going to go to a dance. I am not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We are going to go to Lagunas. We are not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? ¿Cómo vas a llegar? ¿Cómo te vas a ir? We are going to drive. We are going to take the bus, right? We're going to take the bus. Who is going to be there? ¿Quién va a estar ahí? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. So these are questions with going to. In this example that I have here, we are going to see what type of question do we need. In this one, for example, in the first one, it says, what are you going to do for Halloween? This is a general question. ¿Qué vas a hacer para Halloween? I don't know. Y tenemos aquí, not do. I don't know. If you have not do, ¿cómo lo completaríamos usando going to? I am not going to. I'm not do. going to. Not going to. I am not going to do anything special, right? I am not going to do anything special. Well, Pat and I, a party, can you come? Pat and I, plural. I am going to. I'm, I'm okay. going to have. Are going to. Are going to. Si tenemos dos personajes in this case, uh -huh. Pat, Pat and I, this is two people. Are going to have. Are going. Are going to have. Okay. Sorry. Are going to have. Tenía un feedback por ahí un poco fuerte. Pat and I are going to have a party. Can you come? And it says, sure, where you uh, have the party. Mm -hmm. you. Where are you, where where are you going to have? Are going you where have. are you going to have where are you going to have the party it at pat's house what form of verb to be we use with it yes. it is it is going to be it is going to be at pat's house what time what time the party. If it's the party. Is the party and we have a start. Going to start. When is the what time is the party going to start? At six and it end around midnight. 
And it is going to end. It is going to end. Y se va a terminar, right? And it is going to end around midnight. Who you invite? Hmm. Who are, are you who are going to invite? Who are you going, going to, invite? to invite? Who are you going to invite? And it says, we ask all okay. our good friends. Are we going to ask all of us? We are going to. We are going to ask all our good friends, right? We are going to ask all our good friends. Let's practice this conversation. I am going to ask Adriana and Brian Francisco. Go ahead. Adriana is A and Brian Francisco is B. Los demás la pueden ir practicando ahí con su micrófono apagado para cuando les toque. Okay. okay. What are you going to do for Halloween? I don't know. I'm not going to do any special. Well, Pat and I are going to have a party. Can you permit? Can you come? Can you come? Sure. Where are you going to have the party? Is it going to be at past house? What time is the party going to start? At 6 um, p.m. And is it going to end around my night? Midnight, midnight. Midnight. Who are you going to inv invite? Invite. We are going to ask uh, our good friends. Very good job. Excellent. Presentation. Dianita, yes. Eh, tengo una duda, Piche, ¿por qué yes. le puso en eh, with Pat and I are going to have? Ajá, Pat and I, Pat y Ajá. yo, we are two people. So you say, Pat and I are going to have. It's like, Ay, que Pat, una y Ajá, Pat and Ay, I, Pat, no yes, Pat is the name. Okay, Ay, Dianita. Let's, algo. <laughs> no, it's it's a name. Okay, sí, gracias, let, gracias. let's take advantage of your microphone. Aprovechemos que tiene el micrófono y ahí listo. Diana and Roberto Carlos. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, what are you going to for Halloween? Roberto. Robertillo, Robertillo, perdimos a Roberto. Can I teacher? Go ahead, Isela. Okay. I don't know. I am not going to do anything special. We will, Pat, and I are going to have a party. Can you come? Sure. Where are you going to have the party? It, it is going to be at Pat's house, host. Where at time is the party going to start? Sería it, verdad, teacher? Or at... eh, no. What time is the party going to? At six. At six. At, at six, and it it's going to end right around around night. Night. Midnight. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you going to invite? We are going to ask our all good friends. Okay. Very good job. So let's see. Cynthia Marisol, read the first sentence. Okay. Cynthia va a leer la primera oración. Then Sandra, the second one. Then Wendy, number three. Okay, uh, Guadalupe, number four. Okay, let's go like this. Cynthia, you start. What are you going to do for Halloween? Continue. I don't know. I am not going to do anything special. Well, Pat and I are going to have a party. Can you come? Sure. Where are you going to have the party? 
Josué, continue. Mr. Josué, continue. Lo perdí, lo perdí. Eh, Laura Lisset, continue. Ahorita. Ah. Let's see. Adriana Burgos, continue. Ajá. Miss Adriana Burgos, you see? aquí lo estoy probando todo. Vamos a ver dónde anda. Fatima Ibin, continue. It is going to be a part house. Thank you very much. It is going to be at Pat's house. Uh, Eric Javier, continue. What time is the party going to start? Very good. Oscar Otoniel, continue. At six. Uh, it is going to end around midnight. Uh, Lorena Araceli, continue. Buharju, going. Going invite. Going to invite. Who are, go who are you going to invite? Jorge, finish. Jorge. We are going to ask. It's the last one. We are going to ask the last one. I'm going to drive All are good friends. It was the last the last line. Era la última línea aquí. We are going to ask all our good friends. Okay, my dear students, and I am going to tell you this as polite as possible. Eh, se lo voy a pedir de la manera más amable posible que siempre tengamos nuestra cámara activa, ¿ok? There is, it's a, it's a must, ¿ok? Es un requisito obligatorio de la clase tenerla encendida durante los 60 minutos de clase. Nos asegura la participación y el aprendizaje. Si yo los puedo ver, ustedes están en la clase, están inmersos en clase y pues obviamente que me diga, teacher, es que aquí está desordenado, aquí está oscuro, lo que sea. It's ok, but the idea is that I can see you here, I can see you present, okay? I know it's a difficult time, right? Sé que es una hora bien dura, bien difícil. But if, you're, if you are active, it keeps you in class, okay? Si la paga de repente se me derriten acá, uh, y lo pierdo. Ah, oh, chis, ya se acabó la clase. <laughs> Las 10.40. <laughs> so, so please, so please eh, keep it on because it's a requisite from eh, Insafor. Es un requisito de Insafor tener la cámara encendida y cuando auditan la clase, obviamente usted tiene que estar con su cámara encendida. Ese es un requisito de parte de la beca. Okay, so please, I want, I, I, this is going to be like one of the final times that I will ask. Thank you for all the ones that keep it on. Gracias a todos los que la mantienen siempre encendida. Thank you very much. So, expressions. What are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow night? These are time expressions that help you analyze when is something going to happen, right? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? What will be your answer? What are you going to do tomorrow morning, people? Uh -huh. I am going to work. I am going to work. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? What about the rest? Mm -hmm. I am going to work. I am going to work, right? Is someone going to sleep in the morning? No, right? No, no, right but... I am going to take breakfast, right? I am going to take breakfast for sure. Uh, let's see. Who is going to eat pupusas tomorrow? Who is going to eat pupusas tomorrow? No one. Hmm. Who is going to who is going to dance tomorrow night? No one. No. <laughs> no. No. No teacher. 
<risa> Not anymore. No, con tu... no, teacher. no estoy llorando. Tú estás llorando. <risa> so, who is going to cook tomorrow? Who is going to cook? Me. <laughs> For sure, right? All the ones that are going to eat are going to cook. <laughs> oh my God, el gato, el gato. <laughs> we need to be very careful. I need you to help me complete the sentences. Here you have other expressions of time. Can you help me to read the expressions of time that we have here? The first one that we have here is next week. What about this one? We have tomorrow, at the weekend, next week, on Friday, tomorrow, on Wednesday, at the weekend, next week, and on Friday. So these are time expressions for the future, okay? What are you going to do in a specific day in the future? How would you complete this sentence? ¿Cómo complementaríamos esta? The uh, verb to be. The no. verb to be, uh -huh. they, uh -huh. they are going, uh -huh. they are going they are. to go. They are going to go on holidays. Holiday. At the weekend. At the what about this one? He is going to ride the bike next week. He is going to ride the bike. They? They are going to go surfing. We are, we are, we are going, going to dance tomorrow. tomorrow. We are going to dance tomorrow. They are going to go on Wednesday. We are going to go shopping at the weekend. He He's going to ride a horse next week. He's going to ride a horse next week. And they? They are going to swim on Friday. They are going to swim on Friday. So I need you to tell me events that are going to happen in your life next week. ¿Qué va a pasar en su vida la siguiente semana? Tell me one day and tell me one thing. You can invent, okay? You can invent whatever it's going to happen. I say on Monday, I am going to celebrate my sister's birthday. It, I am inventing, right? Just the right. I am going to celebrate my sister's birthday on Monday. So you say, what is teacher Nati going to do on Monday? Uh, she's, she's going, going to, to celebrate. She's going to celebrate your sister's birthday. Your sister or her sister's? Her sister's. Her sister's birthday. Her sister. Her sister's birthday. Tell me one day and one activity that you are going to do. So you say, Tuesday. I am. Uh -huh. All day. Oh. Tuesday, I'm going to eat out. I am going to eat out on Tuesday. Good. What else? Plans, plans, when? plans. An absent to do on Saturday. Okay, you are going to what? I have an exam. Oh, you have an exam. Oh, I have an exam to do on Sunday. Oh my God. Saturday, Saturday. On Saturday. <laughs> uh huh. Wednesday, I'm going to the church. I am going to the church on Wednesday. Okay. Give me Saturday. Saturday. I am going to go to the beach with my family the next Saturday. Wow, MB. <laughs> I am going to go to the beach with my family next Saturday. What else? Invent something. I am, I am going to the supermarket on Friday. I am going to the supermarket on Friday. Good. More examples. The next Friday, I have an interview. I have an interview next Friday. Wow. Best of luck. Mucha suerte. It's an example or is it real? It's real. Oh, wow. <laughs> How beautiful. 
hopefully it's going to be a success, okay? So what we are going to do now is that in order to leave, in order to leave this place, you are going to tell me one thing that you are going to do on these days, okay? Aquí tienen one, two, three, four, five celebrations. Tienen cinco celebraciones. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. And you have different activities. Send cards, give presents, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat a special food, and wear special clothes. How are you going to make the sentence? You say, I am going to give presents for Mother's Day. I am going to give presents for Mother's Day. And then you have one sentence. Pueden escoger una actividad y una celebración. Ajá. Cuando empecé a ver esta actividad, yo me preguntaba bastante cómo la iba a hacer porque quería rellenarme. Uh -huh. Now you know, right? I am going to give presents for Mother's Day. Give me one example. I am going to send cards for the anniversary. I am going to send cards for the anniversary. Okay, Brian, se puede ir a dormir. Have a good night. <laughs> I'm going to dance uh, for graduation okay fatima bye bye i'm going to take pictures for graduation i'm going to take pictures for the graduation and a ruth have a good night i, I am going to eat the special food for anniversary very good job bye bye wendy good night <laughs> good night examples <laughs> I'm going to sing songs for Father's Day. Very good. Bye-bye, David. I am going to sing songs for my wedding. Okay, I'm going to sing songs for my wedding. Isela, bye-bye. I am going to I am... have a party for graduation. Thank you, Eric. Bye-bye. Laura. Bye. I am going to eat cake. Cake, creo que es. I wear wedding. For the wedding. wedding. Thank you, Laura. Bye bye. Bye. I'm going to take pictures on Mother's Day. Very good. Bye bye, Guadalupe. Have a good night. Uh -huh. I'm going to eat a special for, for anniversary. Very good. Bye bye, Oscar. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, ya los que ya pasaron se pueden ir desconectando para los que me vayan quedando. Bye bye. Who's missing? Bye. I, I am going to yeah. give cake on my mother's birthday. Okay, on your mother's birthday. Bye bye, Lorena. I am going to eat a special food for the graduation. Okay, I'm going to eat a special food for graduation. Bye bye, Mirna. I am going to give a birthday present. I am going to give a birthday present. Good. Thank you, Sandra. I am, I am going to give a present my, for my Day. Very good. Thank you, Roberto. Good night. Ursula. I am going to give present for wedding. Okay, for the wedding. Uh -huh. Very good job. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Cynthia. I am going to eat cake for Mother's Day. Bye bye. Thank you. And I am going to give present for birthday, my brother. Okay, I am going to give presents for my brother's birthday. Uh, Very good job. Brother. Thank you, Juanita. Thank you. <laughs> the microphone, Juanita. The microphone. I am going to give presents for um, anniversary. For the anniversary, thank you. And David I'm Alejandro. Sure. I, I'm going to have a picnic. When? Cuando? For? For 
uh, I don't know, for the anniversary, yeah. Mother's Day, Father's Day. Father's Day. Yes. For Father's Day. Have a good yes. night. Bye bye, my dear students. Uh, I will see you on Monday. Bye bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye, Juanita. Take care. Have a beautiful night. Bye.